Hello to all of our YouTube friends. We are back. We are here from Psychedelic Art Exchange and we have a really cool specialty auction running right now uh, that lives on our specialty auction site, which I'll link all the information about that below. We are calling this the 1960s poster extravaganza and it's full of some unique stuff that we don't usually sell in our standard signature auctions. So we wanted to take you through some of those today and, and chat about them. Yes, yes. Well, uh, welcome to the election day special of the oh, Psychedelic no. Art Exchange blog. And I have a piece of my vintage swag here from right, from a Zappa show in 88 and in pristine condition because I hoarded t-shirts like I did uh, posters and frank was sort of you know uh, my political advisor he was he was uh, a smart guy <laughs> said what he believed in and go back and check out some of the interviews that he gave back in the day he kind of nailed where we are at now but anyhow had to get that in before anything else well yeah <laughs> and and it, it does in a way yeah i have to talk about frank but to, it does speak to um the general culture from which he came and from which these posters came and these posters yeah this is the flip side of the coin of the concert poster game that we're in mm -hmm. primarily but it was born from the you know the same stew and this was yeah, the head shop commercially produced posters that uh, spoke of the concerns and the culture of the of youth of that day. And it covers so much ground. I mean, it really is hard to wrap your head around because it, it covers all aspects of the culture, politics, sex, drugs, rock and roll, all of it. Um, the concert poster thing has become more of a defined collectible because it's you know it was you know tied to bands that people still care about and mm -hmm. it carries the art forward this relies more on art and imagery in most cases um sure. but you know to begin with it well, i want to talk about this piece by rick griffin that was rick was you know one of the best concert poster artists but he did do a series of cannabis uh posters back in the day that were you know really you know berkeley bonaparte printed them this is mm -hmm. one that doesn't come up that often but it's you know we got all red white and blue today so <laughs> we just wanted to throw this in it's griffin it's uh you know it's it, this is it's a beauty and it's in good shape this is really one of the you know nicer posters in the sale and it's by by rick so Love there's it. that beautiful then, you know, then we get into, uh, you know, peace, love and the Vietnam War and all the, you know, the stuff that was relevant back in the late 60s, still mm -hmm. relevant now. I mean, the style and the culture has changed, but, um, you know, this this culture war that we're still in was sort of, um, you know, the seeds were planted back then. You had mm. Reagan that was becoming the governor of California. You were leading up to Nixon and all of his nastiness that now seems like, you know, nothing uh, comparatively, but it was <laughs> like, anyhow. So the posters spoke to the um, political concerns of the youth of that day. It was, uh, you know, the first generation that was really speaking out against what was going on, the conflict in Asia, all of that. And it came through. And this, I mean, this is just a lovely piece, all red, white, and blue with a peace dove and a peace sign. It really doesn't need, you know, any more. I mean, that's, a, that's a, just a beautiful piece. Mm -mm. These are bigger and a bit unwieldy, so <laughs> I have to be careful. Yes, let's not let's not damage any of the goods. Yeah, and it's hard to uh, you know f uh, get all of these in the proper orientation. But here's another red, white, and blue poster that is you know clearly <laughs> you know uh, you know speaks about you know the the youth opposing the uh the man back in the day but you know peace is the message still a good message um you yes. know didn't achieve it then haven't achieved <laughs> it now um one you know, can but, dream you know ideals are good to have you know yes you, can, you know peace and love are still you know valid uh, um 
ideals, but you know, humans have difficulty reaching them. Anyhow, um, <sighs> yeah, this, this is Boy. beauty. I mean, this is, you know, come on, you got the dove again and you've got the cops and the hippies and that. Uh, yeah, what a beautiful piece. Classic. Anyhow, classic. Classic. Oh, wow, another peace sign. Uh, yeah, another red, white, and blue peace sign. It's kind of the theme. This one's a uh, day glow, so this would pop under under black under light, black which light. was mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, you know, many of the posters were black light posters because yeah. it was uh, you know it was part of the groovy uh, teenage pad decor in the day. You know, it was you know all of that. Love it. Anyhow, and you know, again, these kind of speak for themselves. They don't need that much narration, but they're no. good examples. But we're leading up to one that, um, you know, is a little more. Bear with me. 60 year old paper, y'all. Yeah, uh, it's no joke. To... Yeah, so. This is an East Totem West poster, which was, mm -hmm. are, are, is one of the head shop uh, um, posters that does have a collector's market. These are pretty well known and cataloged, and they come up in you know from time to time. And there is um, you know really great artwork and and big glossy printing. And this is really some of the finest work from from that whole era. So I mean there is a collectibles market in this. Uh, it just mm -hmm. hasn't developed to the extent that the concert posters have. But I sure. think that it's a real opportunity for, you know, people that, you know, that want to be getting in on something that could potentially be, you know, as valuable as the concert posters down the road. So just, or just uh, something that you like that you think is cool. I mean, it's great. It's the culture. I'm a paper collector. That era fascinates me. It, you know, it's still relevant, especially to us here. And, you know, it's, it's a nice departure from the concert poster thing, which is, you know, it, it's serious work. It's a lot of fun, but it's, you know, and not, this isn't serious, but it's a little more joyful in some ways. Yeah, a little more whimsical, perhaps. Yeah, and you know, and this stuff wasn't supposed to survive either. We all got sure. pin, pinned up, uh, pushed. You know, they a lot of them disintegrated, like the concert posters. So they're valuable old pieces of paper, and you should check out uh, the sale. And we'll be back soon with you know more concert posters and fun stuff to talk about. Yeah, thank you as always for joining us. We're very happy to have you here. The links to this specialty auction uh, are below in the description. The 1960s poster extravaganza will close on Thursday, November 7th at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thank you again, friends. We will see you very soon. Cheers.